Hey guys, Ed here and uh, today, uh, a couple days ago I bought this uh, Hyundai Sonata 2009 and the thing with this car is that look at these window switches they work like most of the time this one doesn't work at all nothing passenger side okay if you're just playing with it it's, it's not gonna work but if you like oh okay well as you can see this thing is all like this uh, which is not great yeah. so what I think we have to take the panel off and try to fix this thing so first thing I'm gonna take off the panel so let's get to it. Um, let's take a screwdriver and remove this cover here. You can use a butter knife or screwdriver or nail as I did. And unscrew this screw right here. Okay, then unscrew the screw in here inside here. And two screws over here on the bottom. So do that. Okay. So I took the screws out over here and over here, everywhere. Now let's take this thing off. This goes right out. And uh, next thing, yeah, next thing I believe there should be screws behind these things. So I'll try to get the center cap out like this. Just save it for later and do the same thing for both of them and get them out. Okay, so I got both screws out. Next step. Take here, pull on, on the plastic, and just disconnect this thing here. There's a connector here. Okay, I'll disconnect this. You have a clip here, press on it, and pull down. Um, okay, so next step, I guess we're ready to unplug. Okay, this thing looks like somebody already. Okay, one more here. One more screw. Okay, so when I have the screw out, I believe we should be able to slide the, the panel off the door. Yes. Um, unplug all the connectors. Just unplug all the connectors, okay? Okay, so I moved the panel to the side, I went to the shade. And uh, now what I see, this is the thing which we need to get to and see what's up with it. And uh, so it has one, two, three, four, four screws. One, two, three, four. So get them out. Okay, well, what I did, I unscrewed the screws and uh, I pulled on this thing here and uh, the other side. So I took the thing out, my buttons fell down and uh, yeah, this is the thing, um, the switch is broken, it's not working correctly, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to order order new one, new switch right now, I'm going to go on eBay, get one, I think it's around $30, and uh, then we'll replace it. Hey guys, okay, so I got the part, these are my old screws right here. Okay, so I got this part, um, 35 bucks or 30 bucks on eBay. Um, yeah, so let's now what we have to do, we have to put it back in place. Um, so just wiggle and click it in. Okay, I clicked it in, and now I'm gonna put four screws back in place one, two, three, four. Okay, so do that, these screws right here. Okay. Okay, I put the screws back in place and now let's try to connect to the door. I have still the old connector here. Old, uh, yeah, this thing. I'm gonna put it here for now and let's, I'm gonna connect this and this so I'm gonna check if it's gonna work. This window works and this window doesn't work. Let's connect all the connectors here 
uh, to wherever they belong to and then we're gonna plug the links so let's start by doing this this goes here this is the lock so the lock is on top so going I hope you guys can see because it's very uncomfortable to film it so what I'm going to, going to do now I'm going to take this and go through the top hole over here like this and like this then you slide the white pin over here you see you slide over here do same thing with the handle. Get it in the hole and slide here till it clicks both of them. Okay. So okay, guys. Once you have everything in place, that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take a handle, <laughs> holding. Okay, you, you need two hands to do this, but I'm gonna try to do this with one. You have to slide the handle back in as we did before. back in place so now we're gonna use I'm gonna take the cover and take put it on here on top align it with the window so you're gonna need two hands so I'm gonna put you guys here I'm gonna need two hands Make sure you have this connector here. Don't hide, don't hide it under the panel. Flip around. Okay, all set. Uh, next step: cover. Cover goes like this. a couple times it's gonna go back it's gonna go in easy next step take a screw and put the screw inside inside just close the gate that's it next step put the screw here then put two screws on the bottom these two screws match the color and the screw right here okay and that's pretty much the whole thing um, you're just gonna have to connect this uh, with the speaker here with the, this speaker with the connector so connect it and click it back in place simple um, so guys if this helps press like have a great day bye